let's go to holidays in Bali. I say, wow, that's a really cool idea. But uh, I didn't know at the beginning that she would like to climb the Mont Rigeni. Four years ago, I did a hitchhiking trip with some friends and we climbed the, the Rinjani. And when I was walking up and down, I was thinking, man, this could be awesome on a bike. Basically, uh, Mount Rinjani is the second highest mountain in Indonesia. Uh, you can trek it. Uh, the first time we did it, we did it with a, a guide. It's called Sujar, and we stay in contact. And uh, like I think two years ago, I started talking with him and say, "Do you think I can come with the with the bike?" He wasn't really sure, but uh, as I was asking more and more questions, uh, he just said, "Okay, I will uh, prepare this for you." So. He set a team, uh, I said I will come with uh, Pauline and uh, Jeremy for filming and uh, he set a team of five porters. They are carrying a lot of things, like more than uh, 35 kilograms. Yeah, so that's why five porters, more than enough. Good. Yeah, with the bike it's quite uh, difficult to answer actually because um, this is the first time for me to see someone uh, cycling or riding uh, on the summit. It's like, uh, you know Gila? Gila, that's been crazy. You should know that once you start, there is nothing else on the mountain. So you should carry everything you need for five days. In the day, it's really hot. In the evening, it's really cold. To come to the first camp, we were able to ride the bike. And now to go to camp two, we have to go up there, 1,000 meter and I think we have to carry the bike most of the time. It's, I think, the hardest part of the, of the trip, but uh, we start early and we have all day to make it. It was pretty challenging for us, you know. It was, we were not sure if we will succeed in this uh, project. We'll do summit uh, this morning with this weather. We will try uh, to reach the summit soon. We start very early in the morning during the night and it was really hard because uh, it was all dark. Jerome was uh, far in front of me and was alone in the age with the wind, the cold. And I say, oh, I, sh I should not lost my truck because on the, on the right side you have 1,000 drop winter drop and on the other side almost the same. When you arrive at the top, sunrise just arrived, you say yes I made it just before the sun coming was one of my goals. This, this mountain was definitely not a bike park, it was not groomed, it was not made for mountain biking. It was just a hiking trail, people made them by walking up and uh, I had to adapt my style, but at the end I was surprised by, because it was really flowy. Riding down it was really dirty and slippery with the volcanic sand and rocks. Camping five days was also a really experience because uh, we have no shower during five days and um, we have a mouse in the town and after we have to wake up at 2 a.m. in the morning to climb the summit. We really like the population because they are always flying, they are welcoming us like during all the trip. I wanted to do it for me but also to, to share this with, uh, with all the biking community and uh, uh, to share my vision of, of biking. You know, I like this as much as, as racing and uh, to be able to, to travel to this place to ride this kind of trail and to live this kind of adventure.
We were not alone on the on this trek. There were a lot of other trekking company with other customers hiking, and all they were really impressed by, to see biker uh, on, in the mountain. You know, at the end of the trek, people try uh, your uh, bike. You know, they want to try like what you do. He always uh, asking to make a photo together. You know, it was really uh, a good a good moment. You know, like you you ride for you. You reach your goal, but then you see all the people around that are smiling and excited by what you're doing.